Hey guys, what is up? Crates here, and uh, long time no talk, guys. Uh, been a while since I've uploaded a video, but it's all because that I've been working on this montage of mine, and it is right on track for the release date of June 15th. So sign on to YouTube, look at that video, like it, favorite it. I'm very sure y'all will be impressed. And today I'm bringing you a gameplay of 16-5 firing range domination. Bombas dual mags, general setup, chopper gunner, blackbird chopper gunner, dogs. I'm I'm pretty sure. Um, <clears throat> I haven't watched this because I'm not gonna talk about the gameplay. Um, so this past Monday, June 6, was possibly the best day that I remember in in electronic gaming history. So, uh, for all of you that don't know, WWDC Worldwide Worldwide Developers Conference for Apple was on June 6th and that's when they release all their new gadgets and whatnot and anyway the what their their three big things that they had during that show was the release of OSX Lion which is their new operating system that will be available in July um, iOS 5 and iCloud and both of those will be ready this fall I don't know the exact date because they just said this fall but <clears throat> The big surprise that they had at the end was this triple grenade that saved them off B-Flag. Oh, oh, sorry. Um, oh, their big surprise at the end was uh, they announced this thing called iTunes Match. And iCloud already comes with, like, you can upload, you can... I don't know how to explain. Basically, if you download one song on one computer or one iOS device then you can send it to all of your other devices without having to purchase it again and for all of you people that have a lot of family members and this is a big problem in my household I don't know about you guys but people always buy duplicates of songs of TV shows or something like that and now we don't have to worry about it but what iTunes Match does is it takes every song from your library matches it to a song on the iTunes store and then it, it uh, saves that data and then you can download that song to any other computer for free even though you didn't buy it off of iTunes say you ripped it from a CD or downloaded it off BitTorrent or something like that it, it, it will match it at iTunes and you can download it for free uh, um, to any iOS device or any computer and I think that is going to be sweet I'm so excited for that and then at the same time as WWDC there was Microsoft's big E3 event and at this event, they launched the new trilogy for freaking Halo. I'm so pumped. So at the end, the, the Microsoft uh, representative was was like closing, giving his closing speech. He was like, I'm so glad that you guys came. Thank you so much. And real quick, before I leave, I want to show a huge project that I'm super excited about. A new trilogy coming to Microsoft or coming to Xbox, something like that. And then it started like this weird like vein and... I saw this like I thought it was like a heart or something and the tr the teasers on my uh, my most recent upload video uh, Before this one so you can go check it out. I will put a link in the description if you have not seen it but it is a teaser to Halo 4 and the It took me a second to realize like he said trilogy and I was like what is this like Lord of the Rings? I, I, I have no idea what he was talking about when he said trilogy and then I saw Master Chief and I was like oh my god Best day ever. And then, later that day, I realized that PS3 is going to get the map packs next weekend, which means for Xbox, 24-7 Nuketown and WXP. So excited. Going to be playing a lot this weekend. One more thing I want to bring up is Modern Warfare 3. Now, they did not say much at Microsoft's conference, but I have been reading 402's tweets, and 402 is the community manager for... Infinity War, Modern Warfare 3, blah 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 blah. Anyway, what he has confirmed is that there will be no there will be no one man army, no commando, and no nukes. However, there will be noob tubes. And he said the reason why there will be noob tubes is that grenade launchers are a vital part of modern warfare. 
So, I guess that's a valid point, but why not just take it out? I mean, the, no one likes them. I mean, they're fun to screw around with, but, like, whatever. It pisses people off. It pisses more people off than people have fun with them. So, I don't know. And, however, they did, at E3, they had one, uh, like, playthrough of a single-player map. And it looks just like Modern Warfare 2. I was kind of disappointed. Um, but if it's Modern Warfare 2 just better, I'm definitely going to get it. Because Modern Warfare 2 had such great potential of being an, uh, an amazing game. But they just... We're not thinking with one man army and danger close and noob tubes and and just I I think it would have been better if Infinity Ward had not fallen apart, but I could be wrong. Um, and that is all for this commentary. If you have any questions about this Modern Warfare 3 stuff or Call of Duty Elite, leave it in the comment section and I will reply as soon as I can. And be sure to check out the montage June 15th. It'll be up. That is all I have for you guys today. This has been Crates, and peace out.